why do you have to look like a coke bottle welcome back fam it's your girl jess so today's video is going to be all about your body and how you are never gonna fit that realistic stand unrealistic standard and let me tell you why an unedited photo got put out by mj her grandmother and everyone kind of freaked out well she kind of freaked out and i guess kind of wanted to show how she really does look on her own from her Instagram videos. So she's been doing a lot of videos about her beautiful body and stuff like that. So now anyone who posts that photo of the photo that MJ posted is getting sued. You're gonna get sued. Sued for posting a photo that isn't edited. If you know what image I'm talking about, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've seen it because I kind of just stumbled across it on YouTube. No, sorry, on Instagram. No, my gosh, on TikTok. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, hang on, is that Chloe? And the thing is, I thought it was Chloe when she was younger because she looks very young. She looks very cute, little, you know? So I was like, oh, that's a cute photo. And then the other video that I saw I'll try to put it up here basically saying if you use this image you will get sued the Kardashian Chloe to be exact is suing anyone that puts that image out and I was like well hang on there I'll show you that photo because Chloe and the Kardashian legal team are copywriting any post that includes that photo and if people had already shared that photo they woke up to their accounts being suspended because they're literally trying to erase that photo from the internet a photo where Chloe looks like an average person and it just highlights the problem of how fake social media is it's the fact that the Kardashians will take legal action against anybody that shares an unfiltered photo of them it's the fact that the Kardashians Photoshop and alter their photos so much that even after dozens of surgeries their bodies can't even meet the expectation of their online personas social media is so fake that even the kardashians don't look like that in real life what really annoys me is the fact that she's suing people and now here's why it annoys me i understand when you get tagged in a photo on facebook oh my gosh please let me know if this has happened to you or if you can relate you've tagged you've been tagged on a photo on facebook and the tagged photo of you is hideous Oh my gosh, it's like, do you people not know how to take videos and photos? Like, I have no idea. And then the photo you take of that night is so good. Like, it's bomb.com. You look great. You know, you got your angles working. And then this other photo just makes you look really bad. I completely get it. It's happened to me. Let me know if it's happened to you. Leave me a comment down below. These beauty... No, sorry. I just did a video on beauty standards up here. Have a watch. This unrealistic expectation that you're meant to have perfect body big, beautiful big ass i don't think boobs are that that in which i never really care about anyway i have mosquito bites and boobs so doesn't really phase me the fact that she's making it such a big deal is what is so wrong with everything like hello how why does it matter that freaking much that you have to sue people it's normal to look any kind of way any body is beautiful as long as you feel good in it that is all i always say you could literally have the most ideal body shape and still feel so ugly and so self-conscious and all the things where society is meant telling you oh don't don't feel like that but then on the other hand you're suing people for you know a photo that you don't really like i'm baffled for words as you can see why do you have to look like a coke bottle to be classified beautiful now you know why do you have to be super skinny and this is something that i struggled with like for a while and struggled with this recently as well i don't really like to talk about it but i feel like i have to now i have to like we see all these beautiful models or fitness gurus or whoever it may be right they have the best bodies their abs are peaking they say it's only from the gym only from the gym the other day i was like oh my gosh i'm getting i'm getting fatter i'm getting big oh my god this is a problem you know i started freaking out and that's not how i want to be i don't want to feel like that i know that it's because of what i'm eating like at the end of the day there are consequences to every action good or bad and we have to just kind of be aware of that right but in saying that when you go on social media and you see all these people that look beyond amazing you're like wow how is your waist so small 
wow how is your bum so big oh my gosh your boobs they just stay up oh my gosh you know you don't have big arms can i get a relation to this i have had issues with my arms for a very long time it's only now that i'm starting to somewhat like them and ask anyone i used to purposely not wear tops oh my god i used to purposely not wear tops that showed my arms because i hated my arms like you have no clue i was just like ew they're so big and when you take photos from the side they look so freaking wide and just like oh my gosh and every photo that people will tag me in it would be a photo of my arm doing that and i'm just like i told you not to take a photo like that my brother also said because he's a pt and he said a lot of women deal with you know they have they struggle with their arms and i'm like oh i'm not the only one because we always feel like we're the only one going through the issue right so i feel like i just want to tell you that these people in real life don't even really look like that like i'm not saying they don't completely look like that but some of them look nothing like that i have met some very big influencers models whatever you want to call them and on their page their body looks literally like i just can we even use the word perfect at this point because really what is perfect but in the body community i guess for my eyes they have small small arms you know itty bitty waist the, their abs are just there they have no there's no there's no shred of fat in their arms or their stomach or anything like that right and then you see them in real life and they literally have little rolls when they sit down you know they've like when they eat you do have a little what do we call that a little pouch what is the body standard there is no body standard i saw this tiktok trend where you put rope or your cables or whatever it is on just above your glutes literally so like around your thigh area and you do your workouts and apparently it's meant to target your glutes area right so i spoke to my brother and i saw this other girl do a video on it and they were literally saying how when you do that it's actually working on your quads and second of all you actually put like there's no circulation in your glutes or your legs so you're actually harming yourself more than making your glutes grow waist trainers are so bad for you i have never used a waist trainer and i never will i just know how bad it is for your organs your intestines everything basically in your beautiful body is going to be all kind of like squished and squashed together because you want a smaller waist like why don't you train for that why don't you actually go to the gym and if you feel like it's not small enough stop maybe judging yourself or comparing yourself to other people and actually look at yourself and be like yes yeah. Yeah. i just truly think that we need to make a change and a stop to normalizing that you know like i get it that you know you photoshop you edit your photos and stuff like i said in my other videos why don't you actually put a hashtag image edited so people they don't need to know what is edited but they need to know oh okay it's edited i don't you know whatever they've done isn't completely how they look let's stop pretending like it's all natural i'm not saying you need to come on there and say oh you know i've got this done but also if you're that big of an influencer and you're making that big of an impact on young people or even people in general i think it is kind of a good idea correct me if i'm wrong to at least promote that something is edited or that you have done something so people don't think that the way they look is just ugly because that's just how that how it is and how they are when in all actuality you've probably had so many surgeries and all these amazing things done to you that we don't even know about to look like how you look but then you still edit it because you in your head you're like no no i still need to be better i still need to be better and that all comes down again to confidence and your self-confidence and your self-worth so if we stop projecting that on everyone and start being like there's so much more to me than looking this way and we start promoting your inner health and how you should be as a person and being good to people and actually helping and advising and showing that instead of showing oh i don't look like this no i really do look like this look at my abs look at my bum blah blah, blah. imagine the impact we could have on the world just saying your body is in trend now but it won't be in trend forever
if it's in trend in your heart and in your mind, you will always look great. True? All I'm saying is, I think if we worried more about what was in people's hearts and how they truly feel about themselves, it will be so much more impactful and we'll be able to help so many more people than just focusing so much on how people look on the outside. And the biggest thing is the reason why people do that is because they don't have much going on in their lives or they're upset or you know, they're not confident within themselves. So we need someone that's a genuine role model that be like, you know what, yeah, all right, I put on weight or yeah, all right, I lost weight. That's okay, the main thing is my health. As long as I'm healthy, I can do and accomplish anything. Can I get an amen? I hope this is all making sense to you and I'm not just speaking gibberish. But let me know if this is making sense to you and let me know if you understand where I'm coming from because I really just want people to understand that people that look like that don't even really look like that. This is a trend that everyone is going through and because of course they have money and power and people of influence, you know, they have the ability to change how they look every single day, every single minute really, right? Go to the doctor, get a regular checkup, blood test. That's what I do once a year, I get a blood test and then as long as everything is going okay and I feel good in my body and I truly feel like I'm not eating as much junk food, which let's be real, I still do. I had a Freddo today and I don't regret it because it was the bomb. But as long as I'm outweighing my health options and I truly feel like I can breathe better and if I go for a walk, I don't feel like I'm dying of, you know, breath and I know I'm working towards something good. And I feel like the biggest thing is your health. Please just make sure that you're healthy mentally and physically and emotionally. Let's stop worrying about the external world and worrying about how perfect people should look like. Sorry, Bella just flew and I thought she was gonna fly in here. Let's start worrying about people's souls. And when I look at you, I want you to see, I wanna see your soul. I want you to see my soul when you look at me. I want you to see that I'm speaking from my heart and not just speaking from a script or anything like that. I'm talking to you as I would talk to my sister or my brother or my friend or my mom. So I want you to understand that you are so beautiful the way you are. If you wanna change yourself, do it because you want to. Don't do it because you wanna look like someone else or whatever you've always wanted to do something do it not I'm not about that but I'm also saying don't just do something because society is telling you that that's how it should be because society is only telling you that if you allow it to actually tell you that don't even stress about it don't worry about it you only let society consume you if you want it to be consumed right I hope that kind of makes sense but I'm moral of all this is if you are so focused on yourself and bettering yourself and your your journey, then you won't let any of these external things ever get to you. Let me know if you can relate to this video in any way, shape or form. Don't be ashamed if you have let society or, you know, whatever consume you because it used to do that to me all the time. I used to literally want to not eat just so I could be skinny and look good in my head, right? But I know that now focusing on the bigger picture and myself and really trying to make a difference within myself so I can make a difference with other people is the goal. So I just wanted to share that. Don't ever be ashamed of what you have gone through or what you would like you feel because I know it's scary and I know you feel alone, but you are never alone. So many other people feel like that. I was definitely one of them. Still am learning and trying every single day. So I just want to say I'm holding your hand along the way and you're never alone. So keep slaying and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell as well if you want to stay notified every time I do a new video. I want to say that you're all so freaking amazing and you're so beautiful within yourselves. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.